Hey everyone, I'm Brian Pett and thanks for watching. If you watch my videos in the past, you know I believe that if you really want to learn something, then the best way to do that is to teach it. Now, one of the lessons that I've kind of had to learn the hard way is knowing when to let go. There's a lot of things to let go of in life, you know, addictions, behaviors, habits, but the hardest thing for me to let go of is relationships and people. For example, when I was in high school, I had a two-year relationship, which is, you know, a pretty long time in high school. And in the beginning, everything was awesome. You know, we took each other's virginity. Eventually, I realized that, you know, the relationship wasn't going anywhere. Come on, baby, like, it's a beautiful day. Let's, let's go get some exercise. Let's go on a walk, you know? Like, look at, there's squirrels over there and there's kids playing, you know? Let's, let's go have some fun. Don't you want to do anything? No. I want to sit right here on this bench. It's a nice bench. But I had been taught, you know, never give up. You know, quitters never win and winners never quit, which is actually bullshit because a true winner knows when to give up. So I did my best and I tried to save the relationships. Let's go play a game or something. You know what? I think that's a great idea. Cool. Let's play hide and go seek. Okay. okay. But here's the thing. You have to count to 10 in Espanol, okay? I know we th I taught you, so you know how to do it. It's gonna be fun, okay. This is so stupid. I don't even speak Mexican. I mean, Spanish, whatever. God. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, Cinco, seis, uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. I smell fabric softener. Got you. What are you doing? You scared me. This is hide and go see. I found you, baby. God. Baby. God. They were playing hide and go seek. I found you. Me. I found I'm you. I'm scared. I'm scared. But eventually, I realized that it just wasn't working, and I had to let go of this person. <sighs> Baby, I don't. I don't think this is working out. I mean, it's. It's not me. It's you. I. I mean, it's not you. It's me. I just. I don't think we can be together. I'm gonna have to break up. What now. are you talking about? I, I don't think I can be with you anymore. What do you mean be? Like be in a relationship with you anymore. No. I don't think you even know what you're talking about right now. No. Ryan. I'm trying to break up with you is what I'm saying. No. <laughs> okay. I don't understand. I'm No! N O. What? No! But I soon found out it's not really easy to let go of someone. No. Good try, Brian. You don't break up with me via a text message, though. You gotta at least call me. Damn it. Eventually, I had to get a little creative. TK421, I need some backup. So obviously it didn't really happen like that, but the cool thing is is that once I let go of that person, I had all this extra energy and passion and creativity and that's when I started making videos. Here's a clip from one of my first videos in high school. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have something to take care of here. And no, it wasn't a porno. So you'd think I would have learned my lesson from that, but in high school, 
I played football, so I hung out with football players and I dressed like they did and I talked like they did and I did the same things that they did. <laughs> you are such a pussy. You're so gay. Dude, let me get that. That's not a microphone. You can't handle this. So after football was over, I didn't have, you know, anywhere to put all this energy. So what do you think I did? I got in trouble. I was still hanging out with the same people even though I wasn't playing football anymore. And towards the end of the year, right around graduation, one day a football friend and I decided to go around and uh, we had an airsoft gun, which is kind of like a BB gun. And I decided it'd be fun to drive around and shoot people. and I uh, shot this uh, person that was jogging. And they called the cops and I was arrested. Not only was I arrested, but I didn't get to graduate. Now I got my diploma, but I didn't get to go through the ceremonies and this broke my heart. And not only did it break my heart, but it broke my family's heart. But it actually ended up being a really good thing because I stopped hanging out with all these guys. And although I was alone for a period of time, eventually this is when I was introduced to an amazing group of people that, you know, really got me on this path of personal development. This lesson applies to everyone. You know, you might not be hanging out with people physically, but if you're one of those people that's, you know, online all day for five hours chatting, those people are affecting you too just as much. Wow, guys, that's a really good point, right? It is, yeah, it is. It's, it's a good point. point. He's right, yeah. He's trying to book. He said. How do you know who to let go of and who to keep in your life? It's simple. How do they make you feel? Do they make you feel good about yourself or bad about yourself? Then simply spend more time with the people who make you feel good. It might be hard to completely let go of someone, so if you spend two hours with a person, take it down to one. If you spend an hour with them, take it down to half an hour. Personally, I spend the majority of my time with people who are fun. People like this. It's peanut butter jelly time! Peanut butter jelly time! Peanut butter jelly time! Here's a challenge. The first person to send me a video response teaching me about a time when they had to let go of somebody in order to benefit their life is going to get their own Team Badass TV t-shirt. Thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to learn about how to improve your health I recently started working with an amazing lady named Dr. Kathy Groover. She has her PhD in alternative medicine and we work together to create a channel that has little quick one two minute videos about how to improve your health naturally. So check it out. If you'd like to see other cool videos that Team Badass TV has made go ahead and check out our official Team Badass TV channel here. As always, thank you so much for liking, favoriting, commenting, and especially subscribing. If you have any further questions or want to learn more about this lesson, feel free to send me a private message. Special thanks to Brianna Garcia for starring in this video. If you love beautiful, funny women, then be sure to check out her website at briannasance.com. 
Thank you to our badass stormtrooper, Mike Johansson. You can find him at facebook.com slash Space Mountain Mike. Mm-hmm.